Good morning guys, just picked up the click and collect from Woolies. So this is $171.17. I totally spent over $170 so that I could get the $10 discount, um, which they brought it down to $162.17. And as you can see, I've got some items there to kind of bulk up the price, but also with what's going on in Australia at the moment, I just want to make sure we're not short of like toilet paper and eucalyptus oil and toothpaste, you know, those kind of fundamentals. So let's get started with that toilet paper. So that's $8.50 for 24 rolls. Next, we've got some apples. The apples were really good price, actually. I was looking for the pink ladies and they were $3.50 a kilo. Then onto the bananas. Bananas are per banana which can kind of blow out a little bit at times so they're 81 cents each which is four dollars and five cents for five bananas so that's quite expensive i would say and then the capsicums so the green one was a dollar 48 and the red one was a dollar 77 then i grabbed five mandarines and they were 29 cents each so there's a dollar 45 there Kids are really enjoying mandarins, which is great. Strawberries, $3.50. Avocados were just an awesome buy, $1.20 each. So we got two of those. And then the playing cards there were $4. Dave's doing an exercise challenge, so we need playing cards to work out what exercises he's doing. So that was $4.00. Pineapple pieces, we're not doing pizza this week, but I did just want to make sure we've got pineapple in the pantry for when we do. And that was $1.30. That was on special too, which was great. And then up to the Vegemite. How expensive is Vegemite? I don't even like it. That's $8.35 worth of Vegemite right there. I don't even eat the stuff. Let me know if you're a Vegemite lover or not. I actually should do some um, cheesy mites, you know, Vegemite, cheese, and puff pastry in the air fryer. I should do that. Kids would really like that. And Dave would like it too. And then we've got some peanut butter. That's $2.40. This week, Dave's going to be doing his chicken satay. So he likes to use that peanut butter in the chicken satay. I've shared it before in a what's for dinner. So I'll link it down below if you want to make satay chicken as well. It's really delicious. It's really nice. Then tomato sauce, $4.75. I do love to get it on special, but I'd hate for us to run out of tomato sauce. There'd be problems in our house. So I just got it at full price. Then onto the pasta. Pasta's so inexpensive, which obviously you saw in my video that I did last night, which was extreme budget grocery haul. This is 80 cents at Woolies for the spiral and the penne. Dave's going to be doing penne as well. That's why he's got the capsicums. Um, and I just wanted to make sure we've got some spirals. The dishes I'm going to be doing this week is basically eat what's in the freezer. So I think we've got some mince in there. So I'm going to use that up and as well as some chicken breasts. So maybe I'll do a curry or something. But my plan for this week is to try and get through what's in the freezer. Dave wanted to get some rye bread. So that's $3.80. We didn't get any other bread. As you saw in my video yesterday, I shared how to make bread at home, which is really simple and so inexpensive. So if we need bread and run out, I know what to do now. So I can just make it in the oven. All right, onto the dairy. So thick and cream, $1.90. Dave needs that for the penne pasta with the pepperoni which is in front of it there the pepperoni is expensive seven dollars fifty um, as well as some more bacon bacon rashers are three dollars fifty and then jumping around I also got some sausages <laughs> two for eleven um, they're just great to have in the freezer so I just want to make sure that we've got some sausages and then I got the western star butter three dollars twenty it was on special so it was six dollars forty unsalted then yogurt, this was the one substitute I got. So I did have vanilla yogurt, um, but instead I got strawberry. So that's fine, it's still $2. And then the milk's $3.59. We also got some more cheese. As you can see, we love cheese in our place. And that was $8. Chicken drumsticks at the moment are $4 a kilo. And online they have like bulk chicken, 1.25 kilograms to 1.6. So you just don't know how much you're gonna get. So we ended up getting two. Um, and they're both 1.3 kilos each. So each one's about $5.50 there, but that obviously is for the chicken drumsticks. Then I got some pies. Um, normally in winter we would go away, we'd go up to Queensland, but with the current situation and us paying rent here, we don't want to be paying rent in two places. So we're staying home. So I've got a few treats for us to enjoy. And you know, I love trying something new. We've had the Nana's pies before. They're so yummy. We used to have shares in them. So we used to get them quite a bit. Whereas now we don't. So I got the just plain snack apple pies as well. Then we got some whiting and 
these were on special the Herbert Adams um, King Island beef. So they looked really good. It's just two pies. The pies were $3.90, so that's great per pie. The Nana's apple and blackberry pies were $4. And then the Woolies apple pies were $3.20, and the whiting was $7. And then I got a heap more frozen because I just, they're so easy to do in the air fryer, just chips and stuff like that. So got some roast veggies, sweet potato chips, roast potato, as well as some Australian steakhouse chips. These chips are fantastic, really like them. So these chips are $2.30, sweet potatoes $4.80. These chips are $4.00, I'm pretty sure they were on special, that's why I would have got those. And then these are actually hash browns. I didn't realize I got the hash browns, but that's fine, they work well in the air fryer too. And that's $4.00. And then right at the back here, I got some toothpaste, that was on special. $3.50 and then I got some eucalyptus oil and I wanted eucalyptus oil. Last time I asked for eucalyptus oil and they substituted for a solution. It was cheaper, yes, but I didn't want a solution. It had lemon myrtle in it as well and Dave doesn't like that smell at all. So we go back to the eucalyptus um, and I just was really specific with the notes to the shopper to ensure that we just got oil. I didn't want any solution, $14. And then some of the frozen veggies I got was the corn on the cob, that's $2.50. Broccoli florets is $2.50 and then the mixed veggies that are $1.59. And as you saw in the extreme budget grocery haul I did, these $1.59 veggies are just amazing to get vegetables in your day seven days a week and then the free range eggs was four dollars fifty and we also got vinegar which was a dollar twenty i'm packing away the groceries but i'm totally going to put in some apple pies into the air fryer they just look delicious so i've never done these apple pies in the air fryer before so when i'm doing something for the first time i just look at the oven instructions so I'll put it at 195 and it does say to preheat i reckon if i preheat the actual pastry will be a lot more crispier so I'm definitely going to preheat and then I kind of halve the time and just keep checking it so I'll do it first off seven minutes check it and then maybe go another seven minutes or five minutes depending on what I find let's do this emptied up my soul you've heard it all before honest but I know uh -huh. left these years ago I was young and I'm old Still care for the void, oh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night for sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do? This is gonna be delicious. So there we go, there are the groceries. What are you having this week? What are your meals for the week? I'd love to know and inspire other people in our community. Thanks for watching, bye.